John Deere Skidder does not like the big hill. Okay, so that's a crisp, cool, nice look. I got some coffee Saturday morning. Look at that stump steaming. Michael just pulled it up out of the ground. He's fixing to pull this other one up. With his grapple, look at that. As a stump removing machine. Yeah. He's getting a uh, spot cleaned up for Mickey right here. We like to pull our stumps up. Make sure the loader's not going to get on them. Make sure our legs and everything on the loaders aren't going to get on them. Make sure we don't tear anything up. He's shaking to make sure there's not another stump there. L look at this. Now look at, can y'all, no, I don't think y'all can see this. The sun is killing me. But Mickey has dropped a piece of short wood in between the trailer bunks. <laughs> he was gonna try and put it down there. I can hear a pup in there now, because he hates when we do that. Mickey was fixing to try and lean it up, put it up there beside the bunk, lean it up against it, and then flip it down. Puppy, don't do that, you're gonna tear all my lines off. Man, that sun is killing the camera. Let's see if we can go to this other side and get some video. So y'all should recognize this place, kind of. As I said the other day, right behind that cutter there is where we had the, I think it was like my fourth video I ever posted. Come from right on top of that hill, filming down into this set here. And like one of the very first videos in the playlist for, uh, the Thomas Johnson logging playlist come from exactly about where Pup's sitting at right there. He's filming bird. So this will be load number six for the day. If y'all can even see it. We're trying to uh, get rid of some of our short stuff. Mickey's fixing to load this truck. And then we're going to spin him around and put him just about where Michael's at. We're going to do kind of the same thing with uh, Matthew. We're going to take him and then back him straight across the road. Kind of about where that big pine tree is right there. First one you come to. We're going to put one right there. Put him right there. Keep our loaders out of this wet ditch back here. It's just a little old wet area. Kind of funnels in right here. Whoever put the set here whenever they thinned it, they chose a, a bad set location. But we got everything on that side of the road cut. Except for the dadgum bushes and hardwoods. I hate that. I've always hated driving by clear cuts and seeing all them bushes left remaining. <laughs> I just don't like it. Try and get closer to this. There we go. Sun getting behind that truck now. Y'all go down in the comments. Y'all go tell puppy. Say, hey, that truck's dirty. Y'all need to, he needs to wash it. I'll screenshot every one of them and text them to him. <laughs> he hates when people tell him that his truck's dirty. Oh, there's a steak there, son. Mickey's full of all kind of boo-boos this morning. <laughs> he gonna come over and tell me, you delete that video. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if y'all can really see a whole bunch of it on camera. Y'all just look out through there, like right over behind that cutter right there. All that broke stuff there. It's just, there. there's, I don't know. It's just, God, I don't even know where to start in that. Michael, why don't you run and go cut, run the shear in this? All right, let's go. Let's go? You can't carry nothing up. <laughs> the John Deere Skidder does not like the big hill. We're going up a pretty dang big hill here. 
them y'all back out a little bit. And it is not liking it. <laughs> he may have to, yeah, he's gonna split it. But I may have to cut him. I'm just trying to get a path cut through this right now. But I may have to cut him to where he runs at a 45 up that hill. That baby dog is steep. It's pawing. It's pawing everything it can at it. But Y'all can see just how much higher he is right now versus where that wood is. Let's let him let's see what happens here. Looks like he's gonna get it. You can see he disappears on the other side of the hill. It's a steep dang hill. I mean, for some of y'all, y'all gonna look down and go, oh, that's not a hill. Uh, for my standards, it's a freaking hill. <laughs> All right, so we've broke the tiger cat out. We're gonna see if he can come up the hill any better. He's gonna build his drag. Y'all can't even see him through them dead gun bushes right there.
And he's cheated. Uh, look at that one. He got slid all ahead. What in the world is he doing there? He started halfway up the hill with that one. I'm going to cut him one down there at the bottom. And we'll, uh, we'll hook him up then. Alright, so I built him a special drag right down here at the bottom of the hill. The exact place the John Deere took off from a while ago with the exact same wood with the exact number of trees, which is 12. And it was about three quarters of a drag for the John Deere, so this thing is going to be about a full drag. And let's see what happens now. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> so uh I meant to eat a little crow on that one <laughs> it actually done it <laughs> What I'm talking about right there office with a view I mean look at the hill that we're on I'm gonna park up here tonight well over the weekend but uh Matt just racked up we're finishing up about noonish what I like to do come out get done get out of here about noon on Saturday son <laughs> that way I feel like I'm making time and a half on Saturday when I'm not <laughs> but anyway Mickey's finishing up his last drag. Uh, we we run. We're going to end up three over our quota numbers that we were supposed to have for this week, which is great. Uh, but the skitter thing, man, I did not expect that out of the Tiger Cat. I'm not going to lie. That's that power that I was telling y'all about, though. I'm, I'm, it's, it's got more power than the John Deere, so it should have went up it easier. But the thing with the John Deere was the John Deere was spinning down or trying to pop up stuff like that but Monday should be a couple days from now for y'all but uh when we come back to work next week I've got a spot picked out there at the very bottom of the hill I'm going to count is that the drag that Matt brought up the hill it had 12 trees same thing as uh, uh Michael's drag I'm going to cut 18 trees out of the same area put in a bundle Everything's nice and neat. Skitter's not going to have to bunch anything up. And I'm going to put 18 trees in another bundle. Same thing. Skitter's going to just back up there and grab it. And they're going to go up the same hill at the same place side by side. And we're going to watch them go up side by side for comparison to see which one handle, handles the hill better. Uh, it would be a more controlled test instead of guessing that, yeah, I had this much or, yeah, I had that much, something like that. It will be a controlled test. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. That one's going to be a good one for y'all. Um, anyway, we're wrapping the day up. We got our quota. We got three over our quota. Super excited uh, for that. And 
man, there's lots of cool stuff taking place in the in the back side of this that I can't show y'all just yet, but it's so close to everything being fulfilled and uh, just some some badass stuff is fixing to take place for all y'all. So uh, Mickey's racking up. It's time for me to walk down, go to the house. We think go put a. I'm going to the house. We're gonna watch some racing and. Uh, we're going to put a brisket on the grill. How about that? <laughs> so, y'all go down below. Subscribe for me. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment on something y'all saw. I know there's going to be lots of comments on this one about John Deere's better. No Tiger Cat's better. No John Deere's better. Screw you and your Tiger Cat. Oh, I just can't wait for all the comments on this one. So, y'all go get started on this comment war. And uh, until the next video, I'll catch y'all next time. Something to point out real quick before we do end this video. I told you the other day they cut us off on cutting logs and some of y'all gonna be like why if they're still whole trees why you see the way this middle's all busted out of that tree right there those trees are doing that all the way up through them that one there just got pulled hard enough that one may have been a clay root but even if it's not clay rooted or snapped off and the way y'all see those ones out there leaning those trees those fibers have been pulled and whenever they hit that tree with a saw at the mill that thing's gonna blow up on them and that's what happened at the mill is that saw caught and blew up and we're very surprised that it didn't kill nobody with the damage they showed to the saw but that right there is why we're not cutting logs out of this mess